Happy first day of NaNoWriMo! I'm so excited! Okay, um, <laughs> I have issues. So it is 11.15 in the morning on November 1st, 2022, and I have not started NaNo yet. Um, I was hoping to stay up late last night and start at midnight, but that did not work for me. I was asleep by, I think, 11. And, um... I dropped off the kids at school, then I had to order groceries, and then I had to upload my last um, Preptober TikTok that I've done. Um, I started doing TikTok and it is a learning curve. It is difficult for me. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I'll post my TikTok down below so you can go follow there too. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do daily vlogs on YouTube or if I'm just going to do like the weekly vlogs on YouTube and do daily updates on TikTok. I'm not sure yet. Um, but in a couple minutes I have to go pick up my daughter from school because she only has a half day for kindergarten and um, after that I have to go pick up one of the grocery orders and then come home and then maybe have an hour to write and then have to go pick up my son. So it's wonky. I love Tuesdays and Thursdays because both of the kids are in school at, on that day because my son only goes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but it's split up because my daughter only has a half day for kindergarten. So it's like I get a two hour thing right after they go to school, pick her up, then I have like another hour and a half to two hours to do stuff before I have to go pick him up. And so like it's nice, but it's also, I wish it was just like one long chunk of time, <laughs> but it is what it is. That's the update for right now. And I still have to figure out exactly what kind of updates I'm doing for YouTube and TikTok and vice versa. But I'm super excited. Um, October was a pretty decent prep month for me. Um, I was able to prep a little bit more than I normally do, but also not enough to where I feel so like constrained. Um, I definitely realized that I am a methodological pantser. So I do a lot of like plotting stuff but I pants a lot of it. So it's, it's really interesting. Um, Ellen Brock has videos on the four different types of writers that you can be. And I definitely fall into the methodolo methodological, that is a hard word to say right now, pantser. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to go pick up the daughter and do a whole bunch of stuff and hopefully write soon because I am itching to write. I've been wanting to write for the past couple of days, but I've been holding off because nano and I wanted to put all those words towards nano. It's my toxic trait. So I'll update you guys in a little bit. Same day, different shirt, story of a mom with a toddler who is potty training. It's wonderful. Um, it is 6.30 at night. I have not started writing yet. It has been a day. Um, my husband is currently making dinner, so I am taking advantage of that time that I normally would be making dinner, and I'm going to do some writing. 
Um, and yeah, so let's do some writing for the first day of NaNo. to sound the one that's coming from your mouth don't mean to turn it upside down i really want to hear you out i can't know how it is to be where you so calmly sit happy day two of NaNoWriMo um i forgot to update last night after i got done writing I wrote about 1,122 words, if I remember correctly. Um, so not the daily goal, um, but by the time that I finally was able to start actually writing, it was like 10.30 at night and I really just wanted to go to bed. So I did what I could and called it a night. So today I'm going to do better. Um, it is currently 10.30 in the morning. Um, I've already had breakfast. I've already taken care of the youngest one who is in the living room right now. And I have about 40 minutes before we have to leave to go pick up my daughter from school. And so I'm going to try and do a little of uh, finagling. I... For as much prep that I did in October, it was more like brainstorming type of stuff. It wasn't um, really like outlining a whole lot. It was just getting all of my thoughts and ideas out. So I have to try and figure out how to weave them all together. Because um, I started writing a scene yesterday and I... I don't know if it's going to stay where it is or if it's even going to stay in the story. I have to really figure out where this story is going. Um, it's the Project Violet that I've been working on for a couple of years now. And after all of the brainstorming that I did in October for Preptober, um, it became very apparent that it would be very beneficial to weave in this Romeo and Juliet theme. And so I have to figure out the scenes that I had thought of prior to this nano, um, how to work those in with the new this new road that this story is going down. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of outlining kind of. I'm going to go through the Save the Cat beats or maybe the Save the Cat writes a novel beats because I know they're slightly different. Um, and I'm going to try and weave them in with the romance beats of romancing the beat and see if I can't figure out at least a little roadmap of where this story is going. So that's going to be the goal for this morning. And then the afternoon, the goal will be to write. Um, yeah. So I hope everyone's first day went really well. Um, better than mine. I hope I'm crossing my fingers for you. Um, but today, hopefully today is going to be better. Even though I just said I'm going to go do this, I just got summoned by the toddler. So we will see. When I'm further my own narrative, catching only part of it, to just be, 
Give you more than half a year. If I could give you more than half a year. Hello. Okay, so I think this is my second update for day two. Um, I haven't done a whole, I've done no writing so far, actually. I have done brainstorming. So I've been working on the project, just not the actual writing portion of it. Um, my kids are finally in bed. Um, I have finally done some candle stuff that I needed to do. And I did brainstorming because when I sat down to write last night, I realized that I had brainstormed this new version. It was going to have a Romeo and Juliet theme to it and it was like a big epiphany that I had when I was doing like the brainstorming um, portion during Preptober. And so I did some you know, prepping with the Romeo and Juliet theme, but what I failed to do <laughs> was to connect the idea that I already had with the new idea and try and merge it and figure out how to make them work. And so I had to somehow do that. So I came up with, I think the first one or two chapters on how to start melding that together and making this story better and actually start getting to it because the scene that I was writing yesterday was part of the old idea without the Romeo and Juliet aspect into it and I really needed to weave the Romeo and Juliet aspect into it within the first scene basically because it's one of the big pivotal themes of this story now. So <laughs> past me sucked. <laughs> I thought Preptober was great for me and turns out um it wasn't. <laughs> it was great in the sense that I got you know my notebook set up and it's you know really pretty and everything and I did a bunch of brain dumping. Like I think I have like seven pages at least if not more. Um, and so that was really good, and I haven't, I, I put, like, my character's pictures in, but I haven't written down, you know, their names or, or anything, because I have that in a different notebook. I just hadn't transferred it to this. So this first book takes place, is the, these two characters' love story. Um, originally all six of these characters were going to be POV characters in one story and then I realized that was just too much and I needed to break it down into like trilogies or something. And then I also have, you know, my kingdoms and whatnot. So that's really exciting. So I'm really loving how this turned out. And then, you know, here's my map that I created. And I have my sprints tracker. I have my word count thing. Each box is a hundred words. I feel like if I, since I broke it down with that, it's going to be a lot easier to, um, not easier, but it's going to, I don't know. I don't want to have to be mad at myself for not reaching like 
you know, 1,500 words a day or more than that. Some progress is better than no progress at all. So I wanted to show that by only tracking words um, or only tracking 100 words at a time. Um, and then each day will be like a different color or something. Um, so that's, I got that idea actually from Sarah McLean. She does that. She's also an awesome writer. Uh, Romancing the Beat. My notes on methodological pantsers because that is truly what I am. And I am shocked at how significant I relate to being a methodological pantser. I always thought I was a plotter and in a sense I am but I'm not just a pantser like I'm I'm not an intuitive pantser um, which is you plan out nothing you go you dive headfirst no plot nothing you just you see where it takes you and that is not me I cannot do that I need I need a, a guideline I need a slight road map that if water spills on it and you can't see some things that's okay I'll figure it out then but I need to sort of know where I'm going if I verge off of that path that is fine but I can't just dive in and see where the current takes me that is just that gives me heart palpitations just thinking about it because I'm getting anxiety <laughs> um, but I did take notes on like all the other types that Ellen Brock talks about I highly suggest that if um to going to her YouTube channel I'll link it link it down below um, and figuring out what writer type you are because she has great um, tips and um, other references that you can look at once you figure out which what writer type you are and I think that's what's gonna help me because I don't know it was like an epiphany that went off um, so when finding out that I was a methodological pantser um, they do their best when you have physical stuff in front of you. Um, that's also why my brainstorming sessions are so great because I've got everything in front of me, I'm putting pen to paper, and it just work. my brain works so well that way. And so I'm really embracing the whole getting things down on the paper first before I transfer things over to my laptop because it just seems to work especially when I'm just trying out to trying to figure out where the scenes are going type of thing and also with method methodological pantsers there are you're not always just in like the prepping stage and you're not always in the drafting stage or the editing stage you kind of do all of those all at the same time and that is so me like there are days where I am drafting like crazy and then the next day I am plotting something for you know the next couple of chapters and or I'm editing what I had already wrote and that just that's how my brain works like it is very scattered and it is very all over the place and chaotic but I need to just embrace the chaos and see where the chaos takes me because I'm ready to get this stuff done. Um, so that is my update. I Now that I know what like the first one or two chapters is going to look like, now I feel like I can go and dive in and start writing it. Um, so I'm super excited. I've already lit my candle and I've got my notes here and I'm just gonna go dive in right now. Actually, I'm gonna first get water because I have not had very much today and then I'm also probably gonna make a tea, but then I'm gonna dive in and hopefully I get a decent amount of words in 
and yeah so I'll update you guys in a little bit Okay, it is uh, just after 11.15 at night. I have done, I think it was three 25 minute sprints and then like a 10 minute sprint to wind everything down. I finished one whole chapter and that whole chapter was 3,191 words and I am feeling really good. Um, so my total word count for Nano is 4,313 words, which is above what I needed to do today, and I am perfectly fine with that. Um, I also got to fill in all of this, and look at all those blue ones. Those are all from today. Ah, this makes me so happy. And then also, I filled in my sprints. Um, I'm feeling really good. I'm really liking everything that I have prepared for. Like, it's, it's feeling like this is going to be the month or the year. It's, it's just, it's feeling better than other, other events, other camp uh, not camp, other NaNoWriMo events that I've partake, part, partake, um, it's late, I can't think of words right now. I'm also really happy that I was able to get so many words in today. Today was a really tough day, um, it's the one year anniversary of us losing our sweet, sweet Sophie, um, and it's, it's tough. She was our first fur baby together, and I remember last Nano being a mess during it, and honestly, a year ago, it was just, it was bad, um, and it just, it feels so good to start being in a better mindset with everything. Um, it's just, it's feeling good. 
So I'm going to go treat myself to finishing my cup of tea and reading a couple of chapters of A Matter of Temptation by Stacey Reed because I deserve it, okay? I freaking deserve it. Today was a win. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow will be just as successful and yeah, wish me luck. I hope all of your first couple days of nano, if you are partaking in nano, have gone smooth and well or no or. It's late. I don't know. Leave a comment down below on how you're doing, if you're even participating. Um, and yeah, happy writing everyone. Mm -hmm.